welcome back to my channel. Today I have planned a little get ready with me and I'm using new drugstore products I recently got at Sasa which is a Hong Kong beauty seller. Now I got a bunch of new products. I don't know, no, I, I think I don't have a full face but pretty much I can uh, use new products, a lot of new products. Let me check, check over oh, here. And what is this? So, I have also some products which are not related to makeup. So I bought a tweezer and I bought face shavers. And I think I bought another package, but it's already used. And I bought oil blotting papers. And yes, let's do a little get ready with me. It has been a long time since I have been on my channel and I'm so sorry. And yeah. I felt like I will date, uh, update you what happened and do my makeup now. So let's get started. Um, the first product I have is from Revlon and I saw this for the very first time. It's the Photo Ready Prime Plus Brightening Skin Tone Evening Makeup and Skin Care Primer. They have in fact like three different ones of this. I hold it into the camera. I felt like this one is cool because it has vitamin C. I hope it doesn't break me out. I'm scared of that, but let's see. Now I have already applied my skincare and my sunscreen. That's why I'm a little bit glowy. Uh, yes. I hate this. I can't get rid of it. So, the whole thing looks like this. I cannot show you. Because I thought it's very interesting. When I swatched it, um, ah, already looks like this. Honestly, it just feels like more moisturized, but not. Let's just apply it to the face. So I'm using like two pumps. And I hope it doesn't break me out. That's my biggest fear. So guys, I have been away for a pretty long time because I had my midterms <laughs> and I was really stressed about that. And yes, actually that's the whole thing. I had so many exams in two weeks. So the primer is applied. It feels sticky. I don't know if I can't say anything right now. Right now it's okay because when it's sticky, um, it holds better like it says it's a complex infused with lemon extract and vitamin E and C it's a makeup and skin care primer for skin tone evening let's see now then the next thing I bought is actually a stable it's the old favorite it's the L'Oreal true mats super blendable foundation I have the lightest cheek it's f1 I think this is like from Japan uh, like the the product is from Japan and then I don't know what it is called uh, it's F1 I don't know if this is for the Asian market that they uh, said it like the, uh, that they have those kind of numbers I think they have it in Europe too I'm not sure but yes uh, this is like an all-time favorite foundation for me so and yes I always love this foundation and I used it up kind of like a uh, yeah, actually I did this some time ago and then I was at the at Sasa and I saw it and I was like you know what I actually really miss it because it's a really good foundation I have the feeling this is like for me the best drugstore foundation you can find like they have many many shades I have the feeling and they ju it just blends so well and it looks like Skin. so I always love this foundation and kind of always want to have this in my collection so and then I always do go over it with a beauty blender I wetted it already so this foundation sits into a second better Okay, 
here. And I I have a new concealer, but it's actually in a drugstore and I bought it from Sephora and not from Sasa. I have this a while ago and I absolutely love this. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage Treatment Concealer. And I have been, because of the mask situation, always like kind of like getting breakouts around here. It contains tea tree, colo, dull oatmeal, I don't know if it is that, sulfur, aha. AHA and BHA complex witch hazel and cowling clay and this really helps with breakouts and is such good thing for coverage you don't know so I'm using it on the pimples normally you should put that on like clear skin like a wash skin not over makeup but I do this and it works out so fine for me and it really like I feel like it really does something for breakouts too like First of all, it covers everything so well, it blends so easily and then it also kind of makes sure that my pimples go away faster so I'm really happy with this concealer. Love, love, love. Now, the base looks pretty good and then I also bought from L'Oreal and I've never seen this before. Actually, I have, but I've never tested it before. And this is the True Match Powder Foundation and I will use it as a powder, a normal powder, because it looks like this. Because I need to set my face if I wear if I wear a mask, and they give you this sponge, but I don't. I won't use this. I will use. I will use a normal beach cosmetics brush and go into this powder here and set just the area where I apply my my concealer so it doesn't smudge too much under the mask i think it does a really good job in mattifying and blurring now let's just set the whole face let's see like i don't want like the thing i think when you wet this sponge and put it over your face it's like a willis foundation but i just want a setting powder which has a little bit of more coverage focus on me yeah so far pretty good everything looks very very flawless and I still have a little bit of glow going on which I don't mind will last me forever because I don't use that much powder and yes guys then I will do my brows off camera and I come back to you in a minute so I'm back, I did my eyebrows, I also used the Essence, Essence, Essence Eye Primer, um, it's the You Better Work Eye Primer, I used this for quite a long time and for brows I used the Kiko, Kiko Pro Pencil and the Benefit products are always used. But I put everything in the description box. This is the Kiko Eye Pencil, this is from Benefits, the 24 hours brow setter, and this is the volume nicing fiber. I don't have a the what is it called? <laughs> the what it says, like it came off. The letters came off the packaging, so I'm very sorry. And now I'm using a new eyeshadow palette from the drugstore, you can say. It's from Etude House and it's called the Clay Colors Eye Mini Vintage Camilla uh, eyeshadow palette. Now we are using that. It's a mini palette, so cute. Looks like this. Oh, something flew away. And it looks like this on the inside. Now, I really like this when I saw this and that's why I picked it up. <laughs> And yes, uh, what would I want to say? Today, I had to I had to get a new passport, so I had to go to the embassy. So I took a day off, have a little bit more time. I will go in with the shade first, and I lost the sheet, and it's called Nude Petal. This one. Yeah, so I took a day off today. Could sleep a little bit longer. Yeah, and now I'm really back on YouTube. I'm so sorry guys that I was gone I think like for 20 days. It's like crazy. I ordered a bunch of makeup um, which hasn't arrived um, in the meanwhile also that's what I wanted to tell you 
see in our room but uh, the Too Faced pumpkin spice palette launched in Hong Kong so I ordered it and I ordered a lot of other Too Faced stuff the winter collection and yes uh, I hope it arrives soon um, then I go into this shade it's called blooming inside I'm using the same brush and I just use it more on the outer corner I feel like it Utah's has really good eyeshadow palettes because they're not as pigmented as some people like I guess want it but I actually sometimes for an everyday look I prepare not uh, I prefer I prepare I can't talk anymore I prefer it when eyeshadow is not that pigmented because I also feel like on my pale skin when eyeshadows are too pigmented it always looks so extreme and then guys I go into this shade called this one it's called Camilla Hill it's like this burgundy red it's very beautiful I'm using a Sawyer blush and I place it on the very outer corner again and blend it very nicely So far, everything blends out very nicely. Can't say anything bad. Really like the color category. Um, I go into this shade here, and it's called Vintage Blossom. And I use my finger. It looks like this, very beautiful. And I just put it all over my lid. Oh my god, it's beautiful! Oh my god, guys. It's beautiful. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty shade. It's like this deep dark red with golden reflect and it looks beautiful on this on the eye. It's crazy. Yeah, wow. So beautiful. And then I blend out everything a little bit better because with the finger I'm sometimes like messing my stuff up, that's okay, because you can blend. I missed out probably so much stuff on the makeup community. It's not like that I didn't follow that much, but still like... And now we do the following. We have still this glitter shade and this glitter shade. And I, I will take this glitter shade and put it no wait we do it like that i will use this shade and put it on my lower lash line like this and then i use this glittery shade and put it on the edge also very pretty and then guys i go into this very glittery five shade oh the, by the way the glittery shade here is called old twig and this one is called gold leaves and it's so pretty it's like a gold with bluish reflects but you only see it from the sides i want to show you on my finger it's very very pretty it's a perfect inner corner shade i feel like wow and it's very intense and i put it underneath my eye too so pretty me like the sparkle And then we are then guys what I don't have is a blush I don't have a blush and I don't have a mascara so I will do that off camera and then I'll come back to you so guys I'm back I applied blush I use the BH Cosmetics uh, chocolate cherry truffle palette I use this shade and a little bit of this shade and this shade and yes i have to use a really light hand because the blush is very very pigmented really love this palette and i feel like it suits the look and I, today i don't use any contour products because i don't really feel like it and then i have to show you because i have already shown you i have already shown you the chocolate cherry truffle palette from beach cosmetics but i have to show you a highlighter which is so good and i bought this also a while ago i bought this like single-handled in Mongkok in a store which imports like 
Korean beauty products and I saw the, I swatched this highlighter and I fell in love and since then I'm using it non-stop I'm so in love and I didn't buy it recently I have this now I think for two months it's this highlighter here and you can see already that I kind of used already a lot like I have already like this embedded thing here and this is the Misha Satin Highlighter Italian Brisen in Odd Eye and this is so beautiful you guys can't imagine it looks so pretty like I don't know how to describe this highlighter for you it's absolutely stunning it has like this it kind of is like a dew chrome but also not it has like a little bit of a pink shift and it's just so beautiful when the light hits on it it's very icy it looks like you have wet skin and i love it i'm so obsessed with this highlighter now i'm using this today i'll show you this i don't know if you can get this on yes style i'm pretty sure you get this on olive young i'm using a bh cosmetics brush roll it and put it on and it's so beautiful it's just so pretty like I love it. It's so pretty, guys. I can't get enough of this highlighter. And it doesn't ever feel like you have applied too much. It's just like so pretty on the skin. It sometimes pulls off a little bit bluish. I don't know how to describe it. It's just so pretty. I don't know. I love this highlighter so much. Like this is perfect for fairer, paler skin types. It's just so beautiful. I will also lighten my eyebrows a little bit up. I'm using an Eco Tools brush. Using this, put it underneath my eyebrows. And look at this glow. Isn't that really beautiful? It's absolutely not glittery. It's just beautiful. Very, very pretty. I love this highlighter. If you somehow get your eyes on this, please get it. It's really, really an amazing highlighter. And I feel like it's not expensive. I don't remember the price. I think it was like 150, not even 150 HPD, so it's okay. And then guys, so I'm talking too much. Do my eye makeup off camera. I do my eyeliner, I do my mascara, and I come back to you again. And yes, see you soon. So, did my eyeliner with the Benefit Roller Liner, and I did use a little mini Tar Lashes, Camera Lashes Lights mascara, my one of my favorite mascara of all time. And now, guys, uh, yes, we have a lip product too, which I'm recently bought and I kind of feel like it's like part of the collection at least it suits each other maybe I'm talking like nonsense but it's the better lips talk it's a velvet it's also from it Utah's and it's pink pk series zero three mood up and it's like a wine red and I think like it suited like this vintage Camilla so I picked it up too and I really like those lipsticks from Etude House. Etude House is such a hit and miss company but if they have a product it's really good and I'm obsessed and if they have a product which is not so good it's like really horrible. <laughs> so the lipstick looks like this. It comes in like they look all the same. It has like this component which is magnetic and yes let's just do it. very beautiful shade it's actually a little bit darker the camera like sucks in a little bit of the light it's a thing i'm comfortable with also wearing in everyday life like i swatch it for you it's a very beautiful shade i think it's very i think it's very wearable i feel like it's a really really good shade and and yes guys that's it actually i have to use some setting spray recently i've been loving to use the urban decay one because i feel like it makes my makeup last longer under the mask 
So I'm really, oopsie, oopsie. I'm really loving this one too. Now, let me apply this. And then, I really think like, I come back to you. So my makeup stays longer and then we are done with the look. I feel like it turned out well. I like what I see in the camera. I like what I see in the mirror over there. And I'm really happy with everything so far. Like this is a first impression that so I can't tell you. Um, I will go and do my hair off camera and then I come back to you and yeah, tell me in my final thought. And see you. So I'm back. I did my hair. I put on earrings and yes, I'm back with my final thought. However, this is a f f uh, first impression. So I'm not 100% like can tell you what I like and what I not like. Um, so far, the the primer i think it's okay like right now i feel like my base looks really flawless also in the mirror so i can't say anything bad um it it feels all right i hope it doesn't make me out because i also saw it has lactic acid inside vitamin e and c and you know my skin is sometimes very sensitive so i have to use this more to tell you it has a very sticky base like finish at the end so I think like the makeup holds on it really good now this foundation I don't have to tell you much about this this is an old time favorite I think I bought this already five times and I still love it uh, yes I really love this I can recommend this to you a lot and this one like now that I use it it has an SPF 32 I don't know if this only is available in, in Asia I haven't seen this in Europe and that pH of plus 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 it's I have the shade Apricot Ivory, by the way. Why I didn't tell you in the beginning? And it's in R2. Uh, yes, so far I did a great job with like kind of like removing the shininess and kind of like setting my my concealer. Let's see how it works over the day. If it gets very, you know, greasy underneath the, if it gets very greasy underneath the mask. So far it's okay. And then I only had like those two pr new products for you. Like I love this eyeshadow palette. This is really, really beautiful. I love the look. I'm all about those reddish looks. Um, I will swatch it for you too, so you can see how it looks like. So I'm going from, now I, I prepare swatches for the, for the palette for you. I only used one finger swatches. Now here you have them. Um, as you see the shades, are really really beautiful if you search for something for fall I feel like it's like a perfect palette it's very I feel like it's a little bit romantical love this shade love this shade look how it looks I love this shade too it's very very pretty for the inner eye and the mattes just are also very good I think that you did a good job with also choosing the right colors for this palette love this I love the lipsticks I have so many at Utah's lipsticks they are really a good color they have really a lot of colors and they're all very comfortable to wear because they're velvets they're not extremely matte so really love the Tude Horrors lipsticks and I love this color too I think it complements the looks thank you so much for watching this video I hope you had fun I had fun testing out new drugstore makeup um, I nearly used only drugstore makeup I feel like and yes I like good makeup and cheap makeup and let's let me tell me <coughs> And now tell me in the comments down below if there is any drugstore makeup you really like and I should try out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon in another video of mine and bye bye.